Let's head over to one of the hottest galleries in the metropolis and catch the opening night of a talented artist who wants to share his inspirations and provide an escape to his viewers. Maganda yung mga paintings, medyo surreal yung mga subject niya. Tsaka yung mga elements na ginamit niya, parang sa kanyang imagination lang kinuha. Kaya maganda, very original yung gawa niya. Tapos yung style naman, maganda, medyo makulay. Tsaka medyo seryoso yung paggagawa. Makulay siya. Tapos yung mga image, parang galing sa children's books. Makulay, masaya. Pero pag tinignan mo yung overall ambience, yung mga subject matter, minsan madilim. Surreal siya eh, pero um, galing. Napakita niya talaga yung, ano, yung emotions niya sa mga gawa niya. Tinitingnan ko yung paintings niya, um, ano po, um, masaya eh. Masaya yung ano, nakikita. Parang ano, pinapakita na happy siya ngayon sa ano, life niya. I like this one because it's probably the scariest one of the, of the exhibit because, I mean, the scariest one and, and for me the, the, the most beautiful one because uh, actually talking about dreams is always difficult and, and painting about dreams it's probably more difficult. So when I say it's scary because I think we all have scary dreams and uh, if we had to express what we dreamt, I mean, could be difficult for, for, for anyone. So yeah, I chose this one because it's probably the most colorful one. It's the uh, with kids, cut head, strange animals also. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's probably scary, but I like it. Well, I like it because he explained this to me a little bit. You see the candy there? Uh, he has a way to turn bitter experiences in life into sweet things like candies. And I like, I like that imaginative element, you know. He says he's very young, but he has experienced some difficulties in life. He's only 27, you know, the artist. He does work like this, you know. He has all these imaginary, fantastic uh, uh, creatures. He doesn't like to call them animals, by the way. They're just creatures. It takes him back to his childhood because that was a happy time. I think that's very nice. It's a way to escape the harsh realities of the present, if uh, that's the case. Uh, you know, you don't um, become violent, you don't uh, turn against people or turn against yourself. You can uh, have an outlet and uh, his is to go back to his childhood. Whimsical. Surreal escape into the world of colors and fantastic creatures. The world painted by the artist, Mr. Foylan Kalaya. After the rain, as this exhibit is aptly called, here, Mr. Kalaya conveys a sense of freshness after a sudden shower. Images of how things are cleared up or take on different meanings after the rain has washed the gloominess away. Depending on how inspired he is, each painting usually takes him a few days or a few weeks to finish. Childhood, childhood. Yun yung inspiration ko. Sa age ko, naramdaman ko yung aging. Naramdaman ko yung... <clears throat> may something na nagbabago pag tumatandaan tao. His canvases are filled with extraordinary creatures hearkening the fantastical qualities of Alice in Wonderland. Look under a leaf or a branch and you'll find a multicolored creature peeking out. There's bound to be a surprise on the surface of his paintings. Growing up, his father had encouraged him to continue his craft and to hone his talent. Though his father is no longer with him, he remembers how the fond memories of him has made Mr. Kalaig even more aspire to make his talent to greater heights and to encapsulate his happy childhood through his works. This is a tribute to my, my dad and yung bata pa ako. He's gone and sobrang guilt yung naramdaman ko. Pero habang when I grew up, nagkakaisip ako, nagmamatured ako. Narealize ko na panahon pala yung humingi ng pagkakataon na yun na dapat na mangyari and 
makakuha ko yung malaking inspiration sa sarili ko na magtuloy ako bilang artist. And though daily life has encroached on our imagination, stifling it at times even, Mr. Froyland Kalayag tells us to still find extraordinary in the ordinary. You need to, to appreciate everything, every small things that existing here. Not, not, not only the material things, <clears throat> Andiyan na, andiyan ang bulaklak, andiyan ang ulap, andiyan ang bundok. Appreciate it. And simple lang, maging masaya ka. And as the rain stops, Mr. Kalayag hopes that he could still turn his paint into delicious things, fearful images into that of whimsy and turn raindrops into psychedelic rainbows, hoping that these would make his viewers remember the beauty of their childhood.